and let them come across the word of the Lord. Just know that that day the Lord has something to reach out to you. So don't just try to hear what the man of God is about to say, but turn your heart and connect to the altars of the throne of grace in order to receive from the throne of grace. The Bible says, let he that come, let him believe that God exists. And by that belief, life will be transformed. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do that to subscribe. And I always pray every declaration and prophecy to come to pass in your life. The life-giving factor, power in the heavens resides within the office of the Holy Spirit. To a point that Jesus told him, Tarry, I have mentored you. You are not bankrupt of ideas, but you need empowerment. Tarry, he said, until you be endued with power from on high. Tarry, until you be endued with power from on high. I believe that it is in the heart of the leadership of the full gospel that next year by this time, you should return a much superior version of yourself by reason of the empowerment you will be receiving that small startups and businesses will scale at a level, a frequency of the spirit. Yes, sir. The Holy Ghost, the one who made the rod of Aaron, even though it did not have root, it began to bud and produce fruit. The Holy Ghost for you. Do you believe this? The Holy Spirit is not an exclusive reserve for preachers and men and women of God. In fact, the first revelation of him in the Bible was as a creative spirit. Hovered round the face of the waters. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 15 says, Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, then it says the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine, and that a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. Look at the transition from a wilderness to a fruitful vine, from a fruitful vine to a forest. That is the Holy Ghost for you. Hallelujah. Ordinary men, no comeliness, yet when he came upon their lives, he turned them to signs and wonders. Now in Acts chapter 2 and verse 1, the Bible says, Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, it says they were gathered together in one place and in one accord. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven. And the Bible says that sound came and filled the room where they were seated. And all of a sudden, they saw cloven tongues as of fire. It came and rested on each one of them. When it has to do with the Holy Ghost, everyone can be a beneficiary of his person and his ministry. I know that there are a few based on the election of grace. The Bible will say he gave on to some but when it has to do with the business of the Holy Spirit it is everybody's inheritance in Christ are we together remember when Peter preached his message on the day of Pentecost the Bible says they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what shall we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and then you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and to your children as many as are far off even those whom the Lord will call so everyone tonight in Christ you are qualified to experience the ministry of the Holy Spirit let me give you very quickly three keys to experiencing the spirit and experiencing his empowerment tonight the first key is called hunger hunger is currency in the spirit the bible says blessed are they that hunger and thirst even biologically hunger is proof of health am i right on that when a patient is sick one of the first signs of ill health is the loss of appetite so you know that someone is sick and is in need of a doctor's attention usually because they lose appetite. They no longer are hungry. Even though they are losing weight, the passion to be hungry, hunger is a gift. 
when men do not hunger and thirst after spiritual things when people become passive and careless it doesn't matter if he comes let him come no you do not experience the fullness of the ministry of the holy spirit in the presence of laxity and carelessness it takes hunger hunger that is derived from the revelation that without him there is not much that you can do do you believe that hmm. key number one tonight is hunger someone must be ready to be hungry and say i'm tired of an ordinary life i'm tired of doing business in an ordinary way tired of doing ministry in an ordinary way tired of being a young man with no evidence that brings glory to the name of the lord hunger number two the second key is obedience obedience when it has to do with the business of the kingdom and the business of the holy spirit you need obedience obedience to respond to the impulses of the spirit are we together now obedience to respond to prophetic instructions if and when um, it is by the spirit but his manifestation happens at the instance of obedience peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer the bible says and they met this man who had been at gate beautiful for many 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 years and the Bible says when they saw him, they looked at him and he said, look on us. And the Bible says he looked at them expecting to receive, not to be healed, expecting to receive. Obedience also connects to your expectation. Hunger is expectation. Now obedience. And Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. He said, but such as I have isn't it amazing you can know that you have this thing if you are not sure you have it you don't have it you can know like a woman being pregnant she can know there is a baby in my womb right now unquestionably so the bible says when mary and elizabeth the mother of john met the babies within their wombs left and they all felt it you can know that you have been empowered by the spirit you can know that you are in rich fellowship with the Holy Spirit, carrying grace that can be demonstrated here and now. Not talking about stories of yesterday as if God has stopped, has stopped moving. Oh, one day something happened there. What is happening now? Did the Bible not say Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever? Am I challenging someone? So number one, hunger. Number two, obedience. Are you ready for number three? The third key that is responsible for receiving impartations from the Spirit of God. Please listen carefully. Number one, let me again for your understanding. Number one, I said is hunger. And then number two, obedience. I did not finish my story of the man at Gate Beautiful. And Jesus looks at him and I mean a Peter looks at him and says silver and gold I do not have but such as I have give I unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk did you know that man was still seated there he did not walk the Bible says Peter reached out to him and lifted him and he leaping stood it was at the point of obedience that the power of God was made manifest are we together now yes at the point of obedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience the bible says if and when your obedience is complete so we have hunger and then we have obedience number three the third key that governs maximizing and receiving of the holy spirit and this is a very important one is your motif your motif why do you want the anointing why do you want the grace for most people we have not been taught that your motif vetoes your prayer vetoes your fasting vetoes whatever spiritual activity you are involved in you can fast right 
pray right, live right, but once your motif is corrupted, if there is any other motivation aside the revelation of Jesus and the glorification of the same, you will not enjoy the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Because when Jesus was speaking about the Holy Spirit, he says, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now, he said. He said, how be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, that he will guide you into all truth. Is that not what the Bible says? That he will take of the things that are of mine and give to you. He said he will reveal. The Holy Spirit does not even come to reveal himself. He comes to reveal Jesus. So when your motive is just to make a name or to become famous, do not get me wrong. Surprisingly, the more you are not interested in these things, the more you have them. That is how the economy of heaven works. When your attention is on Jesus above fame, Jesus above resources Jesus above a name you will find out inevitably that the name the fame and everything in between will follow you why because it is called a reflection principle John chapter 17 and verse 1 it says Jesus lifted up his eyes unto heaven and said father the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee the only way the father is glorified is when the son is glorified now, here's the example I always give when I'm teaching on this. Please, I want you to look at this pulpit for one moment. Did you know that the center of attraction is the top? Right here. This is where my Bible is resting on. Are we together? But did you know that you are able to see this because it's supported by another, um, some pillar and wood here. Am I right on that? The emphasis is not this, but it's impossible to look at this pulpit without ignoring this. This one right here is you. This is Jesus. So, if I want this pulpit to rise up, I have to lift everything plus everything supporting it. That includes you. The only way that Jesus is lifted is when you are lifted too. So, he rejoices at your rising. He rejoices at your prosperity because your rising translates to a greater platform. Where he will be known that i may decrease john said that you may increase he never said that i may vanish that i may decrease i am still there but not to the degree that distracts people away from jesus john's prayer was to decrease not to disappear to decrease to see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, oh, we'll see you high and lifted up. You are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, oh. You know, we're discussing not too long ago with Prof. Professor John Kennedy, and we were talking about just this issue of motif. Do you know why men pray and desire power? They desire influence. They desire to be global in the kingdom. And it looks as though God is, is, is there's this laxity to lift them because there is corruption within their heart. Resident within their heart is the desire for self-glorification above the revelation of Jesus prayed and I covenanted with God and this was my covenant with God I said Lord may I never know the extent of my impact all I need to know is that you are walking through me to bless the nations and that is fine with me listen to me I'm about to pray now for someone here you've been listening speaker after speaker but perhaps this is God directly speaking to you. It is not that I cannot give you a million dollars or a billion dollars. Everything in the kingdom for the believer is not an achievement. It's a trust. He gave unto one, not they found. He gave unto one five. He gave unto one two. A man can receive nothing except he is given. Where then is the pride of the believer? The Bible says, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the strong man glory in his strength. 
let not the mighty man glory in his might but let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me now for those who are outside of faith they can brag and say it was the works of my hands but Deuteronomy chapter 8 gives us a word of caution. Let it not be that when you are now big and you build houses and have all of this, you say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this. Then it says, but thou shalt remember the Lord because in the presence of plenty, you can forget the Lord. Yes, sir. In the presence of fame and glamour and the whole world calling you some perhaps even worshiping you it is easy to want to take the stage and say jesus you stand somewhere just just allow me enjoy this moment jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher that must be your prayer Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Very powerful song. Let our King be lifted up. Oh, son. You see, ladies and gentlemen, for as long as it is your business you will have to take responsibility over the management of it but when it becomes his business for as long as it is your ministry you take responsibility over it did the bible not say but i know whom i have believed it says and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed he only keeps what is committed unto him I hand over my life, I hand over my ministry, I hand over everything that has to do with me. And he says, you trust me that much? Come. And he turns ordinary men. For someone here, perhaps respectfully speaking, you've been full of yourself. That is why there's no space for the Holy Ghost in your life. Can you empty yourself tonight and give him unrestrained access that he turns your life into a sign and a wonder? And please do not tell me the Holy Spirit has no role to play in your business or your finances. Mm -mm. You are the first. You are the stream. You are the hunger living deep inside of me. You are the food that satisfies. You are provision for the journey of my life. You are everything. That's what it takes to experience His glory. You are everything. Let me sing it one more time. You listen. You are the first. You are the stream. You are the hunger living deep inside of me. You are the food that satisfies. You are provision for the journey of my life. You are everything. Everything means everything. You are everything. Can that become your song tonight? You are everything. One more time. You are everything. That when men see you, their businessman, when men see you, their politician, when men see you, their man of God, the more they look at you, the more they forget about you and remember Jesus because you have been so emptied of self. Your life has become a mirror, projecting and revealing Jesus. This is the ultimate key I know to enjoy the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Beyond and above fasting, 
above and beyond prayer and all these are necessary you can pray from the standpoint of a corrupted lost driven heart hoping to get power so that it can achieve the purpose of self if it is the God of the Bible empowering you you must be empty of self hallelujah the man standing before you is a testimony that the Holy Spirit can help men there's no time to tell you the story of my life but he's turned the life of this man that stands before you to a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the Lord I know what it means to be lifted I know what it means to be helped by God I didn't come tonight to waste your time and to downplay on your pedigree this is the full gospel businessman this is a, a summit a collection of smart and intelligent minds well accomplished people at the highest levels so I will not come here to downplay on your pedigree but I introduce to you for some and for others as a renewer the ministry of the Holy Spirit alongside the empowerment that comes with that ministry for the next few minutes we're going to pray I did request that we come with our prayer request I'll be praying I'll be speaking over the sick and just declaring impartations upon our lives please I want you to believe the next few minutes is going to be a very prophetic session here and I want us to strip ourselves of any robe of religion and any robe of familiarity and be very intentional remember the first key hunger Lord I know you are able to help me the man who was sitting by the side of Jericho cried and said thou son of David he said have mercy on me among the many stories that I feel led to share I'll just share one for tonight while you prepare your prayer request if you're yet to write do well to bring your you know your writing material or perhaps you wrote a few things and then fear did not allow you to stretch so far we're dealing with the God of the Bible here he's not an idol the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 20 21 it says now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that we ask or think then it says according to the power that works within us in Mark chapter 11 and verse 24 it says what things soever ye believe ye desire when ye pray it says believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them scripture says we have not because we ask not Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says to be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto God we're about to pray so many years ago desiring to love the Lord and serve him with all my heart I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared unto me it would mark a turning point in my life I'm lying down and here he comes into my room Jesus himself I have seen him I know he's alive when he walked into my room you could look at any part of him for the rest of your life and not be tired beauty at his brilliance he never spoke a word the only thing he did was to stretch his right hand towards me and light from heaven that kind of light would not come in a human being ordinarily and still leave you alive how I did not die is a mystery I will plead with him to explain when we go to heaven but that light saturated my entire being and ladies and gentlemen from that encounter among many a supernatural translation happened and the Lord Jesus Christ gave me an instruction in another encounter he said to every city and every region and every nation I would send you to that light that came from me to you there must be someone in that meeting who is in need of that same light and that that same light that came from me to you that that light must also rest on that person and like Paul I have not been negligent to this heavenly calling this is why I know that your life is about to change I'm under the shadow of your wings 
your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I, 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 I. I am victorious, I have overcome, I am victorious, I have. Hallelujah. I'm already seeing light and fire just moving across this place and I know that that Shekinah glory of the Spirit I will not take too much of your time it's going to be a few minutes but I'm praying and trusting that something will rest on someone now and it begins I hear the number three there are three people right now the power of God is going to come upon them and the Lord is saying I should tell you that this is going to be the beginning of a very prophetic shift in your life three of you I stretch my hands wherever you are that power from heaven right now in the name of Jesus let it rest upon you now here's what I want you to do for me please help those under the anointing now except I request that you bring them out please you just do well to manage them there may be ushers but people are limited so do well if someone is under the anointing close to you in the course of the prayer and the ministrations please do well to just help them so they do not injure themselves this is a very sensitive period and I want your heart to be opened in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please bring for me the person who shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody mm -mm. this is by the Spirit Alas, Kebra to Shalekunda Baha. Mighty God. Kali Parus Kadibalasha de Brande Gebere to Sieda. You will never be the same. 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 Now, please hear me. I want to release a grace for speed. How many of you believe in impartations? There is a grace that can bring acceleration to the life of a man. My Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I stand as one sent by God, and in the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands right now. Let the grace for speed, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Shout a believing amen. Let it rest upon you now. Help them, please. Let it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring them out. I decree and declare speed in business, speed in ministry, speed. I release that grace. You will run like Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I impart that grace upon you in business. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. One year in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are many of you who have been delayed by forces of darkness so that you do not make progress. It says, I, Paul, desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. I stretch my hands now. Anyone who has been tied at the same position, by that fire that comes upon you, I release you now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. Declare in the name of Jesus that you are accessing speed here at this conference. Speed by the Spirit of God. 
Someone pray. Hey, Papo Shaparakos Ketesh. Hallelujah. I don't know this man, but the Lord is asking me to prophesy to this man. Sir, an angel of the Lord is touching your head. This man, this uh, like Asian man, this man, I stretch my hands upon you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you will rise to heights unimagined. And as God is declaring over him, I declare and prophesy over someone. Rise to a new season. Rise to a new season. Rise to a new season. A new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. There is an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. I'm seeing the number 21. Je vois le nombre there are 21 people right now. I wanted to bring them out. That fire will rest on them. Such a dimension of wisdom is about to come upon you. At the count of three, let that grace rest upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Within this auditorium and outside, I impart upon you that grace. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare wisdom imparted over your life. 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 The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. It says, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. Wisdom speaking with me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Now, the Lord is speaking to me. This is to everybody, but particularly, there are a few people here you are in ministry. And one of the graces that God wants to restore to the body of Christ is the healing anointing. There are not many people, believe me, when I tell you who are truly carrying the healing anointing. And there are men and women right now. I'm about to stretch my hands. Such fire is about to come upon you. It is an ignition not just over Ghana but from Ghana to the ends of the earth right now everyone in ministry called by God to walk in the healing anointing receive this grace at the count of three one two three take this grace now fresh grace a baptism of the healing grace a baptism of the healing anointing. A baptism of the healing anointing. Please help me, my God. A baptism of the healing anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me very quickly. Even though it's, it's full gospel business men fellowship. I understand that there is the woman expression. Women have a prophetic role to play in this end times. After the order of Esther of Ruth of Deborah, the Lord is asking me to release a grace upon women right now. Women, I stretch my hands. May that mantle come upon you and prepare you to be a mighty vessel where are the women of power that grace that was upon Deborah receive it right now receive it right now take that grace right now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God women who are receiving graces that empower them to pray empower them to travel in the place of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me please anyone under the sound of my voice 
who has been a victim of any kind of demonic oppression because the Bible is not silent as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness John chapter 10 and verse 10 says the thief cometh not but for to steal kill and to destroy he said, but I am come that ye may have life Mais and have that dire. more abundantly. Can I declare liberty over you right now? Que je peux la si vous At the count of three, I'm going to request that you shout the name Jesus. Je vais compter jusqu'à trois et je vais demander de crier le nom de Jésus. That name that is above every other name. Le nom qui est au-dessus de tout autre nom. And hear me. Écoutez-moi. As you shout that name. Pendant que vous criez ce nom. Every chain. Toute chaîne. Everything that defies the name of God in your life. Tout ce qui défie le nom de Dieu. Here and now. Cela brise ici et maintenant. Are you ready now? Et vous pouvez maintenant. At the count of three, you shout Jesus. One. Un, Two, deux, three. Trois. I release you now. I release you now. Every captivity of darkness be released from it now. In the name of Jesus, I announce your liberty. I announce your liberty. Blotting out every handwriting that spoke against us, he nailed it to his cross. I declare your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are trusting God for healing in any part of your body, please just place your hand there right now. You are trusting God or you came with someone who is trusting God for a miracle. Whether you are here, you are the tent outside or perhaps those who are following by way of television or the internet lay your hands right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest take your eyes away from the challenge and look unto Jesus something is happening to you right now I sense an anointing among one of the ladies at the choir. One of the ladies at the choir. The power of God is coming on one of them. And the Lord is telling me it's a new season. A new season. A new season. A new season coming upon you. A new season. A new season. Please place your hand there. I'm about to pray right now. When I say in the name of Jesus, please respond with a thunderous amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. And I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed now. Be healed now. Blind eyes be healed now. Deaf ears be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Cardiovascular conditions be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. You're having pain any part of your body, your arms, your, your limbs be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone is like your right ear. You are not completely deaf, but you have a problem with your right ear. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Right now, I'm seeing someone is like you have a problem with your kneecap. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right where you are. 
every blood condition Tout problème relié au sang. we declare healing over it now Nous la guérison maintenant. whether I mention your case or not for sake of time Seigneur I declare Monsieur healing Monsieur right now la guérison maintenant. the Lord is showing me a lady it's like there is a lump some growth at the left part of your breast we, we command that devilish lump to dissolve right now in the name of jesus christ there is a man here i don't know if you've gone to the hospital or not but you're beginning to have signs that seem to show like you're having signs of prostrate in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I bring you life and healing right now. Life and healing right now. Life and healing right now. Every organ in your body that is not in perfect health, we, com we command perfection right now in the name of Jesus please bring out your prayer requests bring out your prayer requests for sake of time usually I would love to collate it but for sake of time just lift it up as an offer whether you have it in, in e format or whatever just lift it now, listen the bible says philippians 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god how many of you believe that God will answer what you are lifting now? Wave it to Jesus everywhere. Everywhere. It's an act of worship and an act of faith. Now let me speak over it. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you written in your papers your request are life-threatening conditions in this situation of the vraiment disastrous but in the name of Jesus I say it again Je déclare encore. the Egyptians you see today les que vous voyez you will see them no more forever vous ne les verrez plus jamais. ladies and gentlemen Bien -aimé, all blessings come from God through men to men all blessings come from God through men to men so you need God and you need men for many of you God has said yes but the human vessels that need to partner with him to also say yes have not answered the Bible says the spirit and the bride say come not the spirit alone and not the bride alone it is the spirit in partnership with the bride that says come so when, when the spirit says be healed there must be a human vessel that stands in partnership to say be healed when the spirit say be lifted there must be a human vessel that also echoes and says be lifted god already spoke to ezekiel and yet the bones did not seem to obey what God said until Ezekiel the man repeated what God has said he said I prophesied as I was commanded and then he said there was a sound I want to declare 
every human vessel to this vessel amen that has been anointed by god to walk in partnership with the holy spirit and to make for manifestations of these answers i call forth their ministry in your life now i call forth their ministry in your life now in the name of jesus christ let me declare favor over your life. Je vais déclarer la faveur sur votre vie. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Exodus 3 verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Je donnerai la faveur à mon peuple aux yeux des Égyptiens. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Il arrivera que quand lorsque vous allez partir, vous n'irez pas les mains vides. In Esther chapter 2. En Esther chapitre 2. And verse 15. Et verse 15. The last part of the statement says, "And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her." La Bible dit que Esther a reçu la faveur aux yeux de tous ceux qui portaient le regard sur elle. When you read Esther chapter two and verse eight, quand vous lisez Esther chapitre deux verset huit, very instructive scripture there. Ce passage est tellement instructif. The Bible says. La Bible dit that when they came together, verse eight. Now, quand ils sont venus ensemble, verse eight. Now go to verse nine. Allons verse nine. Esther chapter 2 and verse 9. Esther 2 verse 9. The Bible says, And Esther obtained kindness of him. And the Bible says, He speedily gave her. He speedily gave her because there was favor. Do you know that giving is time dependent? You can be given but too late. Vous savez, le tonnerre est très frais dans le bon temps. On peut vous donner, mais en retard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beauty of receiving gifts is that they come when they are needed. La joie de recevoir un don, c'est lorsque vous recevez le don en temps. Just because there is a hand to extend benevolence to you does not mean that every time is convenient. C'est pas parce que la main est tendue et vous remet un don veut dire que le temps est approprié ou favorable. Giving is good, but giving is best when it is given on time. Donner est bon, mais c'est mieux lorsqu'on vous offre ce don dans Therefore, le temps convenable. Name of Jesus. Et si au nom de Jésus. Over every business here. Over every career here. I decree and declare. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. In the name of Jesus. For every request you have lifted, I declare speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. My final assignment and then we are done. Ma dernière mission et je vais laisser le micro. My final assignment and then we are done. Ma dernière mission avant de laisser le micro. As great as all these miracles and manifestations are, aussi grand que ces manifestations et miracles sont, my greatest desire, mon plus grand désir, and I believe that that is the great that is the desire of the spirit. Et je crois que c'est le désir de l'esprit. Is that God would fan back? C'est que Dieu va revenir, il va trouver à nouveau every dead prayer life. Toute vie de prière morte. Every dead word study life. Toute vie d'étude morte. Because you see, you are as healthy as your spiritual life. Vous voyez, votre santé dépend de votre vie spirituelle. If you're financially vibrant and spiritually dead, you are not all right. Si vous avez de l'argent spirituellement, vous êtes mort, il y a un problème. If you're intellectually sound and spiritually dead, you are not all right. Si vous êtes très intelligent et vous êtes mort spirituellement, il y a aussi un problème. So the Bible says, "Awake thou that sleepest." Et c'est la Bible dit, "Lève-toi, toi qui dors." It says, "And Christ will give thee light." Christ te donnera la lumière. It says, "Walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise." La Bible dit, "Non, marchez comme des personnes sages et non des personnes insensées." Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Rachetant le temps parce que les jours sont très mauvais. We're all going to pray that prayer. Nous allons faire tous ensemble cette prière. And it's a personal prayer that I want you to make to the Lord Jesus right now. Et c'est une prière personnelle que je voudrais que vous adressez au Seigneur maintenant. A fresh commitment to love him. A nouvel engagement de l'aimer. A fresh commitment to live for him. Un nouvel engagement de vivre pour lui. The engracing and the discipline to get your prayer life back on track, la, your word study life back on track. La grâce et la discipline de prier et de méditer comme auparavant. Go ahead and lift your voice in one minute. Levez la voix en une minute, commencez à prier. Father, restore my prayer fire. Père, restaure mon feu de prière. Restore my word study life. Restore ma vie d'étude. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Go ahead and pray. 
the Bible says nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal that the Lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity please pray just one minute let there be a cry from your heart to heaven fresh fire upon my prayer life fresh fire upon my word study life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah